One of the things that we're not hearing a lot about is the unique potential safety problem of coronavirus vaccines. Now, this is him. That was him in March 2020. When Trump was president, he was questioning the vaccines that he just spent three years pushing at the top of his lungs. So, okay, let's watch the rest of this, though. Then (laughs) something changed. Any vaccine released by emergency use authorization by the FDA is an outstanding uh, vaccine. J&J's vaccine has a risk of life threatening <laughs> blood clots. When you hear the beep, that's the sound of safety. So don't overthink it. Uh, they're, they're both really good. Vac- they're all really good vaccines. Get vaccinated now. You gotta call now. If you wait, uh, it's gonna be really too late to protect your child. If this was your child, what happens next could make it the worst day of your life. So even though COVID poses zero threat to healthy children. <laughs> vaccinate your children. Do the right thing. Be safe and not sorry. I'm strongly recommending for adolescents to get their two doses of vaccine They're fully immunized after those two doses. Advanced technology that can help save lives. This is going to be a long-lasting vaccine. A long-lasting vaccine. Ah. A few moments later. <laughs> We're seeing that two doses is not holding up well for <laughs> emergency room visits. It's not holding up well for hospitalizations. Here we go again. Everyone's going to need a booster. You need that third immunization. Triple the amount. Get that third immunization. The two mRNA vaccines were always a three-dose vaccine. The two mRNA vaccines were always a three-dose vaccine. <laughs> I've always said this is a three-dose vaccine. I've always said this is a three-dose vaccine. This is a three-dose vaccine. Never said that. But I'm not done yet. That third immunization. The problem is it's not holding up. So <laughs> we may have to look at sort of innovative solutions. Oh, God, not this again. A fourth immunization <laughs> just, just to keep them to keep them going. To keep the country uh, going. We have to consider some out-of-the-box things. A fourth immunization. Like a fourth. Four. A fourth immunization. Get that second boost. A second boost to keep the country uh, going. I've made that recommendation. A fourth immunization. But I'm still not done. <laughs> Unfortunately, the numbers are starting to trend up again. So the hospitalizations are up. And so the <laughs> most important message that I have this morning is get your new bivalent booster. Ah! Lily and Louise were saying they got their booster and I was like, oh, I need to get mine. And then I found out they, they were talking about the third shot. Mm-hmm. Ah. And is that the bivalent or is it the fourth booster or does it matter? Like, that, Don't worry so much about the number of... There's no wrong way to use it. <laughs> you have to get it. This new bivalent booster... You can double or triple stack them. The new bivalent <laughs> one is, is doing a much better job. You have to get a booster. Yeah. You need to get this new bivalent booster. That bivalent booster for COVID. But does everyone ages 12 and older need a booster? The answer is yes. 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 And by the way, if you're over 50 and have gotten two boosters and more than four, two, or th- two to four months out, you're going to need a third boost as well a fifth immunization five i don't think we're gonna need an annual booster like flu eventually dr hotez supports (laughs) yearly boosters just like flu (laughs) but i'm still not done it looks as though the boosters are not holding up quite as well as we'd like Um, and 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 i think our think thinking is going to change and that what's going to happen is every you know few months we may need another booster uh, uh, uh. perfect results each and every time you know we just could not overcome that massive disinformation campaign these fake concepts of herd immunity and discrediting masks well, dr hotez you are a national treasure it is picking off young people like we've never seen dr peter hotez that was extremely informative disinformation that you're hearing that kids are fine it's nonsense kids need to get that vaccination. You healthcare workers have been our saviors. Watch out for that misinformation. Dr. Peter Hotez is probably one of the smartest people on this topic. If you <laughs> haven't gotten your five and ups vaccinated yet, now's the time to do that. Dr. Peter Hotez, thank you for saving the world. They also support giving that third immunization for the 12 to 17 year olds. People have to feel safe. Dr. Hotez, you are a voice of reason. Take down the fake information. These fake concepts of herd immunity. Our last hope is to vaccinate our way through this. Make certain that everybody's vaccinated including their kids. That's the single most important thing right now the American people have to do. Dr. Peter Hotez, you're the person that we like to go to uh, for the sort of expertise. The single most impactful thing you can do is make certain that you're fully boosted and preferably too boosted. Monkeypox is a global emergency. And it's accelerating uh, among a specific social network of, of men who have sex with men, not because it's sexually transmitted. Monkeypox is sexually what? transmitted. Exclusively. Almost exclusively. 
Before we let you go, we have to stop and applaud you because I a lot of MSNBC viewers who have watched you constantly for the last three years or so and, and have come to trust you. I don't know if they fully appreciate what you have done.